So Miscanthus is a bioenergy crop. It's native to Southeast Asia, but it also grows right the way up into Siberia. And unusually for a tropical grass, it grows right across this enormous climatic range, which means we can also grow it here in the UK. But importantly, it has the C4 photosynthesis, which means it's probably 50% more productive than uh, classical crops like wheat. And that also means it's much more efficient in terms of the way that you use water and nutrients. So it was all science at the beginning, and then science started to translate into a commercial opportunity. People started to recognize that this was something that could deliver for agriculture all the uh, environmental benefits without much environmental cost. The material is collected from Asia. It then spends a year under quarantine. It then goes into our field evaluation and we're looking for traits such as a high yield. That can either be through lots of stems, tall stems, leaf to stem ratio, so depending on, on its end use. So at the moment, our plant breeding uh, programme for Miscanthus has been based on fairly conventional breeding technologies, but uh, there's now a draft genome sequence for Miscanthus, and that will considerably uh, speed up our ability to produce new varieties. Terravesta and Ibers have managed to double the energy produced per hectare with the new hybrids uh, compared to old Miscanthus crops in the UK. So not only does that assist with the uptake on farm, but it means that the end markets can produce the same output with less land, improving their carbon credentials. Once harvested, the Miscanthus is supplied to power stations in the UK, currently supplying over 200,000 homes with electricity. The bales are sent directly to the power station and require no drying or processing. Lots of people will say Miscanthus is actually too good to burn, so we're looking at creating other products from it. So there's scope for its use in building insulation materials and potentially in lightweight composites, for example, for the car industry. Miscanthus uses are seemingly endless, but I personally believe biorefining and fibre markets are well suited. Uh, you know, with a growing population, uh, the requirement for packaging, construction materials and biorefined products that are not fossil fuel derived is really essential. We want to grow bioenergy crops to help us produce sustainable products in terms of materials, chemicals and fuels. Um, but importantly at the moment, we need crops that will take carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere while they're growing. We can then turn those crops either into products that keep that carbon out of the atmosphere, or we can put them into a power station that has carbon capture and storage attached, in which case the carbon doesn't get released back to the environment. So we actually create, in effect, negative emissions.